Hello and welcome back to the camp. Right, let's go. There's a bird in the pedic. Hello, pain in the neck. You and your friends are formidable folk indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Let's see what you got. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. I'm sure I will. But let's boys. Right, so. Right, so. Copy stick. And. Buy and resell if it's at the cone. And get the last backpack. Yay! Quest is complete. Okay, right. Prezi! And he's ready. Right. Woof woof, yeah, no. Right now, deposit said stick in the box. Now, the last backpack is a fiddly one to get. If you took advantage of the little um, item glitch in Ostagar and got both backpacks, both first two backpacks there, then when, it, when you come to um, to the main game. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Right, um, right, um, first, the third one's always at the camp, fourth one's always at the tower. Fifth one is either at the camp or at, um, Danish, um, place. I don't know, I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see, let's tell you this. We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know I'll be? I think you said he raised you. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother. Oh, so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Ha, yes, I guess it does it, that. I should use that line more often. I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient possible threat to Caelan's rule, and so they kept me secret. I've never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fight. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Was the game know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Morlaix, despite the promise of the king. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they were. The Arl didn't care. But she did. So 
And what if I was packed to the nearest monastery in age 10? Just as well. The Arletta made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that time. Mm -hmm. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet for our last day's holy symbol. It was the only thing I had of my life. I was so furious at being sent away. I tore it off and threw it at the wall. The owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was. I was stubborn. I hated him there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Caelan's uncle, so he had a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die in the rest of the Great War. Well, why that make me? Ah. No, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all. Right. Now I'm doing this because it's the best way to avoid too much um, uh, disapproval for the team I'm going to use. Right, first go back with Alice there. Yes. It pays off with this team, trust me. First things first, let's go meet Thomas. I thought I saw travellers coming down the road. <coughs> I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, oh, then you, you don't know. There's nobody out there heard. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. With no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified their necks. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Van Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our leader's brother. He's here. Yes. Not far, if you'll come with me. Okay, Antigan, the old brother, is here in Redcliffe. Some of the worst things among the mages and kill anyone that doesn't agree with their preconceived notions and stuff. But I care. Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travellers. No, my lord. They just arrived and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friend. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the arm. I remember you, Van Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger. Kind of 
covered in mud. Alistair, it is you, isn't it? You're alive. This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. But not for long as Ken Logain is Indeed. Logain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Okay. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Kalen risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Pardon. Logain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You are here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is greatly ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the wall, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff of the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Okay, let's go on. Not be with you, my friend. Okay, well that's very intriguing uh, maze and um, I think I shall end it here. Uh, and start again uh, another time. Well, as always, see you next time. Bye bye. Once that thingy goes bye bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye.